Hello everybody, God bless you all in Jesus' name, it's Monday, the 29th of May 2023, and it's 10.30pm Australian time. <coughs> Excuse me. I woke up from a very disturbing dream about 10 minutes ago. Another zombie dream. It was like three or four different dreams, one after the other. It was like the scene kept changing. Very, very strange. One of the dreams, I was sitting in a chair next to my mother. She was sitting on the right side of me. And there was a sister in Christ who does deliverance ministry. She was there. She just appeared and she started talking to my mother about Jesus and how she needs to repent and get saved. And usually my mother rejects this kind of message and starts cursing and screaming and and mocking. But in my dream, she was actually listening to this woman. She really wanted to hear it. And then the scene changed. And she was like in another part of the house. And she was in, this time she was like in a recliner chair and she was laying back. And she looked like she was getting ready to die. And she was calling for this woman to come and talk to her again more about Jesus. And I went and looked for her and I couldn't find her. And I heard this really strange noise and I looked at my mother and she died. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the scene kept changing to like different strange things. And I was like on a street and there was like a bus stop on a corner. I didn't recognize it at all. Didn't know where we were. I was with Lola and she was walking ahead of me, looking for a tree to go and do a wee. And as Lola was about to go around the corner, there was a few people sitting at a bus stop. And there was two people. And in my mind, I knew that they were... Uh, professed Christians but there was something very strange about them and the man he started talking to me and all of a sudden I said I said to him did you take those shots you know the one I'm talking about the mark and he looked at me strange and I just straight up told him I said, if you or anyone else here took any of those shots, you are no longer human. Your DNA has been changed. Your DNA has been changed and you are not redeemable. And then he started telling me that he's a Christian. And I just kept telling him, I said, you're going to change very soon. You're going to turn into a zombie. And I just got a really, really uncomfortable feeling that I needed to get away from those people and I went and grabbed Lola and we started walking off really fast to get away from these people because I thought something was going to happen and then the scene changed and I was like walking up a ramp that goes to a, a shopping mall car park like on the rooftop I don't know why I was going there but I, I was going there and as I'm walking up this ramp to get up the top, I could see from the distance 
a group of Asian people. I think they were like a family or a group. There was probably about maybe eight to ten of them. All different ages. They even had a baby. There was old people, people my age, uh, younger people. And they they looked like they were, they were dressed in like a, a movie set costume. They looked like, you know when you see zombie movies and they've got like the tanned clothing and their face looks distorted and there's blood and that around them and, and they're walking really slow with their hands out like looking for brains to eat, you know, those kind of movies. That's what I was seeing and they're walking really slow and almost catching up to me and I'm looking and in my dream I'm thinking... Are they doing some kind of like actor practicing or something like they're practicing for a movie or theater or something and they're just in like theater garb? But as they started getting close, I kept looking back and I started to realize no, this is a real thing. These are the zombies, these are people that have changed and they're coming for me. And <coughs> excuse me, I'm trying to run. As fast as I can with Lola, I picked Lola up to get to the shopping centre entrance on the top of the, the parking lot so we can get in to try and, I don't know, try and get away from them. But as soon as I got near the doors, all these zombies, they all caught up to me and they looked either Chinese or Korean. And as they got close to me, I started saying, like, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over me. And um, they just stopped, stopped and looked stunned. And they tried to touch me, but they couldn't. And there was like this, <laughs> this is really weird. It was like a drain on the ground. You know, like those stormwater drains and they got the round heavy metal lid. Well, this one had a round lid, but it had like this lock clip thing on the side of it where you can like clip it down. Really weird. Anyway, I opened up this drain and I could see that there was like heaps of water underneath. Like there was some kind of underwater system. And I knew I had to kill these zombies. It's real, I know, it's really weird. And first I grabbed the baby, the baby zombie that was trying to buy it. I picked it up and I turned it upside down and I pushed it down through that whole head first. And then I grabbed one of the older people and I was just grabbing them. And I was able to do it even though they kept trying to move their head to bite me. And in my dream I knew if they bit me, I'd probably become one of them. I'd become infected or something. And I kept bleeding the blood of Jesus over me. And I was grabbing them one by one and just like with all my strength, just pulling them and flipping them upside down and pushing them down into this thing head first. And then there was no more room and there was about three or four of them remaining. And I shut this big lid and I like clipped it shut on the edge so they couldn't come out. And the last one I put in there as I was closing the lid, she put her hands out, but I still managed to shut the lid and her zombie fingers like from the, from the top of her knuckles were sticking out. And um, and then the scene changed. And as the scene changed, I heard some really loud growling, like a demonic voice, and I woke up. And then I woke up in my bed. So, really weird. I just wanted to share that. I haven't had a zombie dream for a while. But I wasn't thinking about them. I wasn't watching anything about them before i went to bed i said lord please give me a dream or a vision he showed me that and i also had heaps of other dreams where the scenes changed where i was being stalked where i was moving to different places and each place it was something something very dark there stalking me and I couldn't live in any of those places. So I just kept moving in my car with Lola, just not knowing where to go. Just driving and driving. Really weird. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, 
I've got the flu. Well, my body's detoxing. Natural detox, also known as flu. Okay, I love you all in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.